Hi, this is Mark Delise, and in this video, I want to go over a number of ways how you can triple your opt in rate with my premium WordPress subscriber plugin that I have developed. I have been developing this for the last three to four months pretty much every day, and it is ready to be released to the marketplace. Principle number one to triple your opt in rate that when people are forced to take an, a call to action, for example, in a button, when they have to make a click, they are presented with a pop-up opt-in form. In this pop-up opt-in form, you can add another call to action. You can actually add any HTML you want in this area right here. It can even be a video. Uh, you can have your name, your email, or just an email address. You can add custom fields like a phone number or Skype ID, anything that you want to do. You can also custom tailor this as well. You can change the colors of the background here. You can make it white, gray, black, anything that you want to do. And you can put a, even put a border around this entire thing. Everything is totally customizable, as well as this button that is a call to action that is customizable as well. Once again, point number one, people will have a three times more likelihood to opt into your form when they are forced to make an action in a button right here. Very, very powerful. Number two, that this is a bloggers plugin and bloggers will absolutely love it. I have been using it on my own blog that I do uh, my blogging with. And as you can see, point number two is that when you're making your posts and your pages, make a call to action on every one of your posts and give away something for free. It could be a, a free video, it could be a PDF, it could be a file report, anything. Every post make a action where you give something away and when people click on that button, once again, a pop-up form happens. You'll notice that on this opt-in form, I'm only asking for their email address and it has a really attractive button and I'm giving away a free uh, teaser video source file for that. You'll see as well, I got it in the footer as well. You can change the colors of all these buttons that you want. So that's point number two. On every post, have a call to action with a freebie. People love free stuff and they will give you their, their name and their email address to get the free stuff. Now, the third point is that after people opt in, you want to make it a double opt in and you want to direct them to a thank you page where it says, you know, thank you or I put awesome, it worked. And you want to make sure that, you know, step two, you want to make sure that they check their inbox and they confirm their inbox for the double opt in. And what I do for extra conversions and higher conversions that on this thank you page, I put another button where I'm advertising another product or maybe it's for this product for more information and so forth. This is very powerful. I get a lot of clicks on this link right here on this thank you for registering page. The fourth point is that when you're blogging, you'll notice that with my easy opt-in builder, with one click, I'm able to add a sidebar form. Easy opt-in builder does this entire box and form, everything the fields, the button, the background, this little uh, top section right here that's red and black and does all this with one click. Very easy to do. Uh, next, I want to sh show you how powerful this is for blogging is that on every page and every post at the very end of the post or the page, you'll see this is added. It's a box and it has a horizontal opt-in with a little go button on the side. Easy opt-in builder will add this to every page and to every post at the very bottom of, of the post or page or at the top. Or you can select a particular and you can target a particular page or post just to have this as well. So once again, you can have it on all of your pages and all of your posts at the very bottom or at the very top, or you can target specific pages and posts with this option right here. Finally, I want to show you how easy this is to set up. Now when you go to your WordPress dashboard, you go to Easy Opt-in Builder, you click on Add opt-in form and it brings you to this page right here and you'll see that obviously you can name it I'm gonna be displaying the pop-up display and I can create one from scratch you put in your autoresponder code right here and it works with every autoresponder get response eye contact you know uh, Aweber so forth but also has a number of default forms that you can use and one of the defaults is called the pop-up default. I click on pop-up default and you see this is auto populated and all I need to do is save changes. That is saved. You'll notice that it's uh, opt-in ID 29. 
So all I need to do is put that short code right here in the visual editor, or it can be inside a sidebar widget. So that's opt-in 29. I want to update that. So I'm just going to simply visit this page and you'll see this is the button that's the default button for the pop-up. So it's a block width. It's more for like a webinar, so you can change this text. But if I click on here, you'll see that is the default pop-up opt-in. So this all happened with one click. All I need to do is come back and I can just edit this by simply coming back to the title. Right now the default is the awesome opt-in plugin. I can say get free download here. And you can see here that obviously I can change the color of the text. You know, I'll change it to, to black or red or what have you. And I can change all this. This is the subtitle. And I can change the color of that and the fonts and so forth. Uh, the next that you can do that's really cool is the opt-in background colors. You'll see that if I can come to, to this once again, and if I click on that button, you'll see that the top section is white, white background, but the bottom section is a blue background. This is all inside the opt-in background options. And you can see here, if I scroll down, you can see here that it says enable different color for header and for the content. So one is white and one is blue. So I can disable this and I'll have the entire background just white, just like this. And I will save the changes. Now, if I re refresh this page once again and click on that, you'll see that it just has a white background. You see that? I can come in here and I can put the icons in there. For example, if I come back and I can put the icons in there, I can add to the autoresponder configuration and I can says show icon for the name. I want it on the left and for the email field, I can have that on the left as well. And I can save changes, but I'm going to make some more changes here. I am also going to change the button. You'll see that the, the button is a block wide and I'm going to change the text of it. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to change the, and I will change it, for example, to blue. And it's going to be get free download now. Now there is an icon and I'm going to leave the icon as a email icon as a default. And right now it's the extra large button. Uh, I can change it to a large. And let's just make it to extra large and I'll keep it just like this. And all I need to do is click on insert. And from there, I can decide to have the radius, which makes the edges rounded, but I'll keep it the way it is like here. And all I'm going to do now, I'm just going to simply save the changes and I'm going to visit this page and this button will change. See that? That's how easy it is. And I click on that button and it says free download right here. Now you'll see that the icons are now located on there. I'm going to change this button a little bit. It has a little bit of a dark border on the bottom. I'm going to get rid of that. So once again, I'm just going to come here and this button is the submit button right here. And I'm just going to make a little bit of changes here. I'm going to get rid of that border on the bottom. It says border and I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to hit the delete button and that's all I'm going to do. Now when I refresh and I click on that, you'll see that that border on the very bottom is now gone. Isn't that cool? And again, what, I can change this text. I can put a red uh, border around this. Watch this. I will come here and I will go to the background effect and it says opt-in background and it says border style. I'm going to add a dash style around it and here I'm going to change it to the it's going to have a red border and the border width is going to be for example uh, three pixels wide here I can set the width of the box I can make it narrow or I can make it wide I'm going to leave it that as a default I can even put make the edges rounded uh, or blank as, as they're kind of boxy looking and I'm going to save the changes right here and now when I and I refresh this page and when I click on this button, you'll see the pop-up has a red dash border around it. See that? See the red dash border? So that's how easy it is. And I can even put a border around this button if I wanted. Uh, you'll see these input boxes. Uh, there's They're kind of blank. I'm going to put a black line around those input boxes. And all I need to do now, I'm going to go to input box options 
right here. I can set the size of the size of it. I'm going to make it to be uh, instead of block full width. I'm going to make it extra large. Border color. I'm going to put a little black border around it, and it's going to be solid. And it's going to be one pixel or maybe two pixels wide. I'll make it thick so you can see what it looks like. I'll save the changes and I will refresh. See that? So now there's a black line around it. I'm going to do something even more cool. I'm going to change the color inside the input box, the background color. <laughs> Watch this. I'm just doing this to show you how customizable the entire thing really is. You go to input boxes and you'll see here that it says background color right here. I'm going to make the background color right there. Okay, background color. This is the input boxes. Save changes refresh and now the background color of the input boxes will now be this color right there so that is how easy it is and again this is the customization of the pop-up feature and it has a lot more features i'm going to get into for auto blogging and what it can do and i'll get into that in the next video so again this is mark delise with the easy opt-in builder and it'll triple your conversions for more subscribers to get on your list thank you